Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokesh here at Anarchapolco 2018. And last year, I got the honor of hearing Vit Yedlika here, president of Liberland, speak on stage. And I got to say, I was, I was one of the ones kind of making fun of him because he was like, wait a second, this is, this is an anarchist conference. And you've got, you've got three big statists in a row. He's in charge of a government. How could that be? And now, now I'm with you, you know, as an aspiring not president here in the United States. But what Vit is doing with Liberland is creating a minimalist state, just enough government to keep the other governments who would interfere with your rights from doing so in Liberland. And I've been following the story. How long has this concept been in development? We're two and a half years old. Uh, we're going to celebrate the third anniversary pretty soon. And uh, yeah, we were created on 13th of April uh, 2015, right? So it's, it's a pretty big expansion if you consider that we've got now 100 representative offices around the globe and half million people that sign up for citizenship. I mean, it's growing every day. We've got 2,000 people these days applying for citizenship a day, which is pretty encouraging if you consider how small is the country and that we don't have anything built yet, that there is such a massive immigration in Liberland. Now, Liberland is, is, a, is a sliver of, of space. What, what's the square footage or the square mileage? Rather? It's uh, two and a half square miles, seven square kilometers, so we're three times larger than Monaco. It, it's, it's a very decent place to start a, a new country, something like Monaco or Hong Kong or Singapore in Europe, in one of the most impoverished parts of Europe. And part of the challenge is the neighboring governments respecting your borders, right? I mean, w what's the current legal status of that right now? You know, we, we're, we're not making things because they're easy, we're making them because they're hard. But uh, the current legal status is that Serbia said they don't mind creation of labor land on this territory, and Serbia is the only known owner, the last known owner of this piece of land, which was pretty cool. They st said that only 11 days after we declared the country there. And uh, Croatia now, they said we are internet joke at the beginning, they don't say it any longer. Now we are a threat to Croatia's sovereignty, but they still don't claim that piece of land. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big opportunity for us to actually sell them the idea that creation of liberal land could be uh, one of the best things that could happen to them in the whole region. Oh, well, this is beautiful to hear that you've progressed from the being ignored to being laughed at to now at least somewhat being fought, right? Because the next one is you win. But wh what, is, what is their excuse? What do they say this, this is, I mean, I'd like to think that this is a, a threat to every government sovereignty. When people get the idea in their heads, this crazy idea that they can form their own nations, based on their own desires, that, that should be. And that's, that's really the point. It really is that threat to the current establishment. But how is Croatia substantiating that you doing this on a neighboring piece of land is a threat to their sovereignty? Well, I mean, it's, it might be a, a threat kind of to the status quo that has been created in the international community. And uh, of course, we are kind of opening minds of the people. And you know, they were kind of, you know, when I'm, they tried to crush me the first time, they, they arrested me. I know I, we share the <laughs> we share the common <laughs> arrest history. But they told me, Liberland is just an imagination. It's just in your head. And I told them, you know, Croatia is also just imagination. It's also <laughs> just in your head, right? And they felt like offended, terribly offended. And I told them. No, you don't have to be offended. All the countries, all the nations are just imagination. They're just in our head. Nowhere else, actually, right? Well, this is, I mean, this is just such an awesome experiment. What is it that you, you're, you're recruiting people all over the world? You have how many people signed up as, as citizens? Half, half million right now. I think we just crossed the, the benchmark. So it's, it's pretty cool. We're larger than Iceland or larger than Malta by now in terms of number of people that want to be nationals of, of Liberland. And what's the pitch? Like if someone on the internet just watching this says, you know, hey, I, I want to be a part of this, like why should they? Aside from that they want to help this project have momentum, right? They want to help get it actually established as a, as a uh, I, I want to say government-free zone, but it's, it's really a, a, like a, I don't know how would you say it, but a special government zone. Well, you know, what we're trying to do is to create as little government as possible and still be able to interact with the rest of the world. Uh, so we're, of course, working with all the startups in the blockchain scene. Uh, that we can think of uh, trying to come up with a really good governance model. And for example, Dash is a great inspiration for us. Uh, you know, the Pivex also a great experience of how governance can be done on blockchain. And we just want to make this interface between the old world and the new world. And we want to come up with the best possible governance model. So it's still a little bit of a testing ground. We've got a great 
Republican constitution, but we want to go further than that. We want to come up with a new governance model uh, that would combine the best elements of the, of the monarchy, of, of uh, republic, of democracy. And I think we are very close to, to getting there. And I think that that's going to be the big thing this year that we will ba basically make sure that we will launch and that everybody will be able to participate. So what are the perks of citizenship? Well, of course, you're becoming part of the freest country on the planet. It's a great social gathering. I can tell you that people that are with us on this voyage are the best guys that you can find around. Uh, Roger just uh, was here a minute ago, and uh, Roger is he's a great person. He has done so much for liberty movement globally. You know, the new citizen that we got yesterday on board uh, is, is Ron Paul, and I think that's the, the big name in the scene, right? He got the diplomatic passport yesterday. And so, you know, we, we really are putting together the best people on the planet uh, to create a new nation, and it hasn't been done quite some time, for quite some time, right? It's, it's a kind of a game changer. So where can people find you online? It's liberland.org. We'll have a, a new website fairly soon, but uh, right now it's fairly easy to find it and, and sign up. It takes like five minutes, and you can just follow. And, and if you find uh, some way you see fit uh, to push us forward, that's the best way to get citizenship. Awesome. The more creative, the better. President Vidyalika, ladies and gentlemen, liberland.org. Check it out. Be a part of it. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.